Yeah, you're welcome back to the class. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about the stocking density. And we, in this tutorial, we'll know what size of pond do we need to stock a particular number of fish. And with this, we'll be able to know what type of space you need for your fish farming, what type of uh, space out do you need to enable the fishes grow faster. Okay, so let us go straight to the class right away. Yo, stocking density. Stocking density, a valid calculation for stocking of pond. Now, in this calculation, you will be converting to US gallon, which is in liters. For every 10 to 12 liters, you can raise one fish to maturity. For every 10 to 12 liters, you can raise one fish to maturity. Here you take 7.5 uh, centiliter for cubic meter and uh, 3.79 gram for US gallon, of which even convert of which even converted is 10 liters of which when converted is 10 liters okay so measure the length width and depth of the preferred dimension required like if you say you what you need is uh here we'll be calculating in feet and uh, three feet is one meter six feet is two meters so three feet is one meter so what you do is if the length is 10 feet and uh, the width is uh, five feet the depth is four feet so you calculate it by your choice depending on the size of land you have depending on the dimension of land or space you have even when you want to construct your your tarpaulin or you want to do an earthen pond or you want to get uh, ready made uh, plastic or vat so you first of all take measurement of the available space to know the quantity or the size of ponds to uh, place on the space okay so measure the length width and depth of the preferred dimension required and multiply by cubic meter and again us gallon and again us gallon then divide by per fish per 15 liters now let's go to the practicals and see what it means now length times width times depth multiplied by 7.5 multiplied by 3.79 divide by 15 by 15 liters which is equal to this so let's see example length of pond is 12 feet uh, width of pond is 12 feet depth of pond is 4 feet now we when you when you want to calculate this depth as four feet, that means the original that means the original uh, uh, depth of this pond should be five feet. So you minus a feet because if it is four feet, you can you, sh you shouldn't expect to fill up the pond with water to the brim. So it should be five feet and you calculate with four feet so when you put in water in the pond it should get to four feet now uh, which is 12 by 12 by four feet depth so 12 times 12 is 4 times 7.5 times uh, 3.79 divide by 15 liters divided by 15 liters is equal to 1091 fishes that is what 
you have to stock in a 12 by 12 point. So sometimes you can also give them more space by dividing with 20 by dividing with 20 liters instead of 15 liters but the least you can go for is 15 liters per fish so if calculating for 18 pound it should be divided by 20 liters gallon so that is why uh, that is why the concrete pond contains more than the earthen pond meaning this size of pond can carry 1091 fishes so maturity of at least 1 kg to 1.5 kilogram each this calculation is very much simple and have been used to successfully implement great and prominent farms with 100 percent success so I'm giving you a guarantee of this calculation. If you follow as explained, follow as being taught, you notice that there is nothing you do that you will not get good results. Yeah, so continuous assessment. This is where you have to test your brain. Let's see what you have learned, how you are gonna implement. Let's see if you have some, if you have learned something and if you can do something on your own. So, I'm giving you an assignment. What is the width, length, and height of a pond that will contain a 20,000 capacity fish at once in an earthen pond? So, do this. If a concrete pond contains 5,000 fishes, how many can a tarpaulin pond of same size contain wow this is great besides I, uh, I, I understand what question will be coming from your medulla of Laji right now so how many fishes can a 5000 capacity fish contain if the fish is stays to a quarter than estimated wow let's see who gets this answer answers uh, correctly and post your answers uh, on the on the on the comment box and let's see who wins and uh, i think we are gonna keep a trophy to this whoever wins have a prize so thank you very much for staying on the class and uh, i'm gonna come back for the next character Think so. So have a nice day. Thank you for choosing Grand Skills as your number one online free professional course creator. For your notice, I want you to know that the instructor of this course has put in so much effort, time, and money just to create this content for you to learn all for free. So please do well to so click on the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so you will be the first to get a video tutorials we'll be posting at all time also give it a thumbs up and drop a comment to help us improve more thank you